two. Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a JLG. This is a 33 RTS. This is a rough terrain scissor lift. RTS is rough terrain scissor lift. Uh, we're going to talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll run it in the third. If you buy this unit from me or some of the others that I've got for sale, we've got a service truck over there. We've got a couple of compactors, some mini excavators, uh, big lime soil stabilizer, povo mixer. You know, we've got a 310 backhoe, uh, excavators, some skid steers. We got a big load, a couple of big loaders. Anyway, um, if you buy any of these tractors from me, you're gonna be dealing with a guy running the camera right now. It's a guy by the name of Pro Provencio, he's my right hand man. So um, this this machine currently has 1734 hours on it. Now it may accrue hours because we do use it around the yard occasionally. We don't use it a whole lot, but uh, the serial number of this machine, uh, I can't make it out real well, but it's 5041, I'm going to leave that last digit blank because I don't know what it is. So uh, anyway, price on a new machine like this these days is, uh, I don't even know, I'm guessing anywhere from 75 to 100,000. Um, this machine weighs 9,200 pounds. The widest point are these tires right here at seven foot six inches. Highest point is uh, at the top of these rails here. It's eight foot nine inches. These top rails right here. Now, if you take these rails, you can take these out. See how they got pockets right here, and you can fold these over. Now, if you fold these over, the, the highest. Uh, it's uh, seven foot three inches without the rails. Um, the transportation length is 12 foot uh, five inches. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it's got, it's got no rust on it. Um, we're, uh, we're 300 miles from the uh, ocean and we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. So everything is, is rust free, the electrical connectors, everything. It's not, uh, we don't have the corrosive effect like we do, like some of our neighbors. This particular machine was purchased from a company that had a very conscientious uh, uh, manager, equipment manager. He, uh, took well maintained his machines and uh, he took care of them he had one of the better maintenance programs that I've ever seen we've been happy with all the machines that we purchased from these guys and it should be said that before I purchase any machine I have a couple of mechanics that go out and inspect it and uh, before uh, if they say everything's okay then uh, I send Pro Provence you out to inspect it and if he says everything's okay, then uh, I personally go out and I inspect it before I write a check, if the money's right. So these machines are four times vetted before I even purchase them. So you can rest assured they're, they're in good shape. Um, as far as options go, this has got a slide out uh, um, a bed, which is a four foot deck extension. Uh, this machine has got a 33 foot platform height. Um, this platform height when it's lowered here is, uh, is like five and a half feet. So when it's lowered, you're at five and a half feet off the ground. Uh, that railing height up there is about three and a half feet. The platform size is, uh, this is six foot wide by 10 and a half foot deep without the extension. Uh, the wheelbase is eight foot two inches. It's eight foot two inches from center to center. That clearance right there. You got a. You got a little over a foot clearance, thirteen inches of clearance. So if you're uh, this thing will, will travel like a billy goat. We had a, well we had a forty RTS and it was just uh, quite an amazing machine. Uh, the the, uh, the weight 
the maximum weight for the platform is uh, 1,500 pounds. That's the capacity. This machine will lift all the way to the top in 60 um, in 60 seconds, and it takes it 35 seconds to lower. Once you hit 26 foot, you cannot move this machine. It will stay in place. You got to go down 20 below 26 foot to move it again. So um, anyway. Um, Top speed on this machine is three and a half miles an hour. This, uh, this, this engine right here is a Ford. It's a dual fuel engine, so you can run on propane or gasoline. Uh, you got a 15 gallon fuel tank on the other side, but this is a Ford VSG 413i engine. Very, very common engine. It goes in a lot of different things from forklifts to small loaders to scissor lifts. Very, very common engine. Again, this is a two-wheel drive machine. These tires are 12 by 16.5 tires. They're in excellent shape. They're no dry. There's not. They're not dry rotted or anything like that. And um, you can. I mean that real quick. That's the. Uh, that's the bed there. I'm gonna get my nephew to bring this thing up. Go ahead and start it off. Perfect. It broke. Let's uh, close these. Uh, here, I'll get it. Hold it. Go ahead. Alright, Perf, go ahead and take it up. We're fixing to catch a rainstorm here, so. it in a low speed we'll run it in uh in the in the high speed here in a minute he's pretty brave to go up that high huh perf yeah he is that's uh pro sun golly i wouldn't do that oh, no. <laughs> yikes you're good perf bring it down uh. Yeah, we don't, uh, we like to stay on the ground, bro and I. We're dirt daubers. My phone's fixing to run out of charge, so. We were hoping you'd hang off the side, Perf. So that's pretty much it, folks. Okay. Go ahead. All right, so this right here, as you push this up, this red light comes on. This is how you start it. This is your uh, steering right here. Now you 
got to pick this up right here. This pushes it forward. Oh, you got to hit this button within three seconds. This is a safety thing. If you don't hit this button, if you don't do anything for a certain amount of time, you got to hit this button before it'll it'll do anything again. You need to warn. This is your. It won't do anything. You gotta hit that button. It's a safety device. This is your high speed and low speed. We just ran it in low speed, but I'm running out of battery, so that's pretty much it.